it's important that you help your staff answer those critical questions like, I found roses on the internet for $29.95, or I heard that you can get roses online for $39.95, whatever that might be, don't sound startled. And more importantly, try not to give them the, the answer they're expecting like, well, ours are nicer. They're talking price already. They have qualified themselves as a budget shopper. That person needs to hear this. Here we go. Well, sir, I can assure you we would never purchase short stem roses, cut them, place them in a box, and ship them for your Valentine's app to open and assemble on Valentine's Day. We just feel that would be a poor experience. We would like to focus on hand delivered premium grade roses with the card to complement your wishes. Thoughts, that's the way you speak to them. That's going to engage and build uh, respect for you as an agent on the phone. You know what you're talking about. So what are your prices? 75, 85, whatever that number is, assure them with 79.95. And that's a premium grade rose with a large petal count that we will guarantee to last a minimum of seven days. What you don't want to say, $75, $150, $85, $90, whatever it is, whatever the number is, and I can assure you that we'll guarantee those to last, and that's when you go into what you're going to do. It's very important that you instill confidence. You are the professional. You're not ProFlowers. You're not FTD.com. You're not the budget buy. You are the premium quality decision that they're going to make and be uh, recognized for getting the premium grade rose because everyone knows that the local brand is the superior brand and it won't ever be the cheapest, but you'll never win that game. Price shoppers will continue to shop with the lowest price, giving you zero um, return um, opportunities for more business. You're just not going to get retention from them. So why bother? Let them go elsewhere if they're looking for $39.95 or $29.95 roses. Last, the reason why? Because the consumer that receives it is expecting and thinking that they spent $75 to $100. You gave the deal, but your deal is long forgotten when they receive short, undervalued roses. Let that order go. But be sure to write it down so the owner of the store knows about it. Stay tuned for more.